Exactly. Okay, and Karen will be back a little later on to play for us once again. Now, John Youngberg, well, I see by the A-Channel signal in the sky that A-Channel man is back to fight crime once again, Johnny. That's right, Jay. How are you? I'm fantastic. I like the haircut. You got your haircut, John. I can tell. See, I can tell these things. I think we're getting to be like a married couple now. I can tell when you're getting your haircut. Gee, that's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I think the only one who would accept my marriage proposal on this show is you. That's right. That's right, Jay. And, and maybe you can talk to a professional about this little thing you have going yeah, on Yeah, I'm here. sorry, John. It's okay. Uh, yeah. It's getting okay. Well, listen, really I, got some, I got some crime fighting stuff I got to do, Jay. So we'll chit-chat later. Yes, everybody, I'm down at Digital Chameleon. And if you've been watching, we've gone a little bit through some of the coloring process and some of the neat stuff they do down here. And now we're in a whole nother section. So come with me there, little superhero fans. And Laverne, what are we looking at now? Well, what we're looking at is the, uh, the color department. And what we were looking at before is kind of the painting department. OK. Here's where we do the, the guides. So we do the color design work for what's going to be painted on the floor. And we're doing it. Uh, the traditional method here where where you get a reduction of the actual artwork mm -hmm. and you go over it with markers and and set it up and it doesn't have to be finished art but you want to indicate every all you know all the salient points of what you want where the highlights are the shadows lighting effects you know make sure that Superman's uh, S is red right 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 yeah. now is it up to the uh, the artist here to come up with all of the colors is it coming out of his head or is he going by a guide uh, no, we, uh, the, the only guide we are going by is that we know that the character's uh, uniform is, you know, red with white trim and that his hair is black and his eyes are blue, but the decisions of exactly what blue for his eyes and stuff like that, that's entirely up to us. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why they come to us, because of our, our color choices. Oh, I see. So a little bit of reputation helps in this type of situation. It helps a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, we talked a little bit during the break about this. The artwork itself, the actual drawings, can come from anywhere, really. Yep. New Zealand to Timbuktu. Timbuktu. Sure. Why not? Why not? Sure. So did you start out yourself drawing, actually drawing comics? Uh, as, as a child, of course, I thought I was going to write and draw and do everything. Sure. You know, like A-Man. A A-Man, yes, that's and, right. Uh, and a, <laughs> I uh, went to, uh, to college and university and, and slowly realized that I probably wasn't going to draw them. And uh, what I did was some inking, got into animation, and graduated to comics. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I did was a lot of color design work. And I was one of the first guys coming in when they started to use quality color, where they actually had light sources. Because back in the 50s, uh, it was pretty much a flat color, and away it went. Great. Well, listen, away we go, too, because we got lots more to show you. But right now, we're going back to Jay in the studio. So, Jay, take it away. We have lots to show you, too, John. Steph, the coffee girl, what do you have there? 